Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Zeke the Crypto Miner, and today we're going to be talking about the SP 500 dividend aristocrats. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, YouTube, we're back. If we take a look at my Robinhood account, this is what I use to trade and buy stocks. Um, right now, I have a buying power of $408.56. So tomorrow, when the market's open, I'm probably going to buy $200 worth of stock. And I was thinking about maybe I should uh, invest into some dividend aristocrats. If we're looking at my last week, I'm up $135.98, 1.74%. And yesterday, well, Friday, I was down $7.00 in the market and seven dollars after hours but for the week i had a pretty good week now i got over four hundred dollars into my account i'm going to use two hundred dollars of that to buy a dividend aristocrat i'm going to explain exactly what a dividend aristocrat is in the later part of this video and i'm also going to spend two hundred dollars of that to do a trade option which i talked about uh two videos ago if you guys want to check that out so um going into my account i do have a free stock available let me show you how that works. Thank you, Deanna W. Let me claim that right quick. Hopefully it's an Apple stock, something good. Um, reward, which one should I pick? Um, let's go for the one on the right. Scratch it off. There we go, Zynga. Z-Y-N-G-A. All right, this share is worth uh, $5.71. So thank you, Deanna W. Make sure you leave a comment down in the comment section on this video on what free stock that you receive from me. Okay, what is a dividend aristocrat and exactly how do you get into it? Um, a dividend aristocrat, to be eligible for the S&P 500 dividend aristocrat index, a stock must have increased their dividend payouts for a minimum of 25 consecutive years or more. Must currently be part of the S&P 500 index and must have a minimum market of capitalization of three billion dollars so it's not easy for a company to become part of the s p 500 dividend risk rate first of all they have to increase their dividends for 25 years consecutively straight that is a tough thing to do for a company so to be a part of the s p 500 uh, dividend risk rate is a real hard thing to do and it makes the company look very good and it's very hard to stay inside the s p 500 first of all you have to get your company inside the s p 500 and then you have to uh have a market size of three billion or more so what are some companies that are a part of the s p 500 that i might buy tomorrow when the um stock market in 2009 the list decreased from 52 companies uh, to 43 companies in 2009 due to the 2008 financial crisis. Um, these list of companies right here were the ones that got removed from the S&P 500 due to the 2008 financial crisis. So all of these companies that are still in the dividend aristocrat, uh, it shows you that they could withstand any financial crisis, especially like the one in 2008. Um, Let's look at some that were most recently added. In 2012, these companies were added. AT&T, which I own some of. That's why I might buy tomorrow's AT&T. Uh, Colgate, Ben, GPC, uh, Junior Parts, uh, ACP, ITW, MDT, uh, SYY, and TROW. So in 2012, nine companies were added into the uh, Dividend Aristocrats. And right now, I'm leaning toward Colgate or at and I'm going to do some more research on them uh, because over the last 25 years, they have increased their dividends. Um, if we scroll down to 2019, the latest ones since 2018 and 19, Pixar has been added, uh, AOS has been added, and ROP has been added. But Pixar is now LIN because uh, they had a merger between uh lin and pixar so uh, i like what pixar is doing with their technology and with their movies upcoming so i might grab some pixar if i could grab it for a good price um in 2019 uh chubb was added cb people united financials pbct was added caterpillar was added cat and united technologies utx was also added to the s p 500 uh dividend aristocrats so um if you're looking into getting into dividend investing 
uh, the safest route will to be to grow your uh, dividend slowly over time or just throw as much money in it if you got it and into a into a company that is a dividend aristocrat that's how you know your dividends will grow over time especially for a company that's been in the dividend aristocrats for a very long time and don't want to drop out or companies that's around like the 23 anywhere from the 20 to 20 for a year mark of dividend increase that that company is clearly trying to get into the uh dividend aristocrat sp s p 500 list those companies right there would probably increase their dividends for the next five years just to get inside the uh, dividend aristocrats so those are also safe routes but um out of these 40 how many were left 43 companies if you invest into 20 of those uh, for your dividends of aristocrats, if you're just starting out, invest into 20, 25 of those. You know that your dividends will increase over time, and in 20 and 25 years, you will have financial freedom. Uh, you will get a paycheck almost every single month, sometimes two, three times a month. Last month, I got seven new paychecks. If you guys want to check out that video, but yeah, guys, um, that's that is exactly what the S&P 500 is. Um, S&P 500 dividend aristocrats is um, I use Robinhood to trade it's completely free if you guys want to sign up using my link down below you can get a free stock as well just like how I opened up in the beginning of the video but yeah guys this is Zeke the crypto miner bringing you an update and exactly what is dividend aristocrats and what I will be buying in the future but other than that this is Zeke the crypto miner and I'm out peace Thank <laughs> you.